there. I'm just uh, working on a little project here. I've got a power supply for my radio that I'm making a simple uh, adapter to go from the ring terminals. It's going to be Anderson power pole because uh, that's the connector that I have on the power wire for my ham radio. And I want to do a nice job so I'm going to put some heat shrink tubing onto these uh, connectors here as I finish this little project up. And we're going to use this dandy heat gun to take care of that heat shrink tubing. This is a, a really impressive, really nice little kit that uh, I stumbled across. I am really excited about this. I don't recognize this brand necessarily. Uh, and I'm not even going to attempt to figure out how to pronounce that, but I'm super excited about the idea of a cordless heat gun. Um, is I mean, right now, today, I'm working in the comfort of my house, on my workbench, and if I needed to, I could use this traditional, you know, Harbor Freight AC plugged-in version of a, of a heat gun, and it would be it'd be fine but cordless is going to enable me to do many many more uh, projects on the go I end up out in the garage where I'm especially excited to use this is uh, out in the field and even like up on my roof uh, when I get this power supply done I have another new antenna to put on my roof for the radio as well and I like to do a heat shrink tubing on the connectors once I install the coax onto the antennas while running an extension cord up to the top of my house uh, just so that I can use a heat shrink gun for 30 seconds is not super feasible those those things draw a lot of watts and they don't really like being on 100 foot extension cords so cordless beautiful way to go and this kit with two batteries, two big 4 amp batteries no less, uh, is less expensive than the tool by itself from a brand name that I'm familiar with. So I'm thinking we have some good value here. Get a few different tips that we can use with this. Probably this one is nice, little curling action one, reducer, a couple of reducers, those are usually pretty nice. I've never I've never really had anything uh, this fancy before. I didn't get anything like this with my Harbor Freight heat gun, but this for example slide right on there and might make it, uh, since it will swirl the air around, might make it easier to do my heat shrink tubing job. And then just using a reducer might be a good way to concentrate the heat. I did see that it uh, it's allowable to place the unit flat on the bench like that and use it in a hands-free manner. You get the battery charger. I did note that this gets not hot but a little bit warm in the pursuit of putting energy into the battery so I wouldn't say leave this unattended on a pile of newspaper. It just That's just good practice for any battery charger. The batteries, I am truly impressed with the batteries and that they include these. You get two 4 amp hour batteries. Uh, buying two 4 amp hour batteries for my uh, big box store brands of tools would be a hundred, hundred fifty dollar proposition by itself. You have a four bar LED indicator for the power and a little extra thing that they added on here that I noticed that I'm very excited about since I'm a tinkerer is for whatever reason there is a barrel jack connector on these uh, on these batteries I've used other other things um, this is an adapter for rigid brand batteries so that you can tap into your batteries and use the power for some other trinket, some other project. And that can be, you know, that can be a dodgy thing to do. You have to exercise a lot of care, but tinkers uh, like myself are still bound to do it. I hugely appreciate that this otherwise proprietary battery pack 
uh, has provided a barrel jack adapter here for power and I did actually test this with my multimeter and found that the full pack voltage it's it's closer to 20 volts but the the full pack voltage is available on that barrel jack so that might uh, even though it's neither here nor there in terms of using the heat gun uh, that might be of interest to fellow tinkerer types so I'm hoping to use this on the uh, on top of the house later it's part of getting a new antenna up there really nice clamshell case that they include with this as well very nice very protective but what I need to do at the moment here is do a little bit of heat shrinking on my connectors so let's see I was gonna put a small piece over the positive wires I'm just gonna cut a little dollop of that you should probably use um, gloves and such when you're uh, working with this type of thing it's more of a do as I say not as I do kind of proposition and this is going to go quite a ways into the Anderson power pole so I'm not trying to cover the whole thing there is a trigger lock on the I should flip this around on the back side of this here so that you can turn it on slide and leave it on there's an LED light there I actually don't know if we're in high power mode or low power mode but for this tubing I don't think it matters I don't think we really care heats up very quickly well, my technique is a little bit lacking here but uh, if I burn myself so be it I believe it's on the low power setting right now which is a sorry about that the video cut out because the uh, memory card was full I had to delete a couple of things quick but I was gonna do a little little piece on the other end of this positive wire here as well so I was saying that there's a, a safety release to be able to activate it and then a lock so that you can go hands-free so I'm gonna press the safety lock it on I'll just do this other one real quickly here rotate that around heating up real quick keep fingers free and clear obviously there we are and then you can just give that a little press good to go I am really really impressed with this heat gun you can do such a nice professional looking job on all sorts of different connectors got you know, did a little piece for this pigtail here a couple little pieces on need a couple of those for a couple of different battery connectors I got smart and put it just up to or under the boot and that looks many 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 times better than just goobering a bunch of tape around and around your cables trying to trying to protect your connections and stuff I'm going to greatly enjoy being able to use this and the usage that I've done so far today has not even put a dent in even one of the two 4 amp hour batteries that they include just amazing value in this tool uh, it works great on the low setting it's also got a high setting that I don't not sure uh, I definitely won't ever need that for heat shrinking and there's many many applications for this besides just doing some heat shrink tubing but that's what I needed to accomplish today so that was the example that I'm working with but great fit finish feel this tool batteries go in and out very nicely LED light lockable can be used hands-free accessories nice clamshell box this is just a great great little tool here um, I'm gonna be taking it out of the house and using it all kinds of places I anticipate so very excited about this one